Hi everybody, uh, this is Stacy. I am back again today with another Cricut Explore video. For today's video, it's going to be really, really short. I was asked about how to download fonts to your computer to use them on the Cricut Design Space program. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser. I am using Google's Chrome. I'm also using Windows 7 as my operating system. All right, now you want to go to a font site that you like or that you trust or that you've used before. I am going to be using uh, dafont.com, that is D as in David, A-F-O-N-T.com. I've used this site for years. I've never once had an issue with any of my computers as far as uh, downloading fonts. So you can see when we're here, there are a lot of fonts to choose from, and they're broken down into categories. We have Fancy, Foreign Look, Techno, Bitmap, Gothic, Basic, Script, Dingbath, and Holiday. Then each category is broken down into like a subcategory. So we have comic, uh, cartoon, groovy, old school, that kind of thing. So just basically find one that you like. I'm going to go under fancy and I'm going to type in curly. I'm going to just click on the word curly. So it's going to bring up any kind of curly font. Okay, now in, down here you can see there are 16 plus pages of curly fonts. There's a preview box here. You can type in your name or a word or what have you. So I'm going to just type in my name, S-T-A-C-Y. Now I'm going to go over here onto the right and hit submit. That makes the font appear in my name. So I can see what my name will look like in that font. So just keep on scrolling down until you find one that you like. I'm going to keep, I like this one. This is called Wizards of Magic. Uh, this is called Janda Curly Girl. I mean, there's so many fonts on here. I like this one. This is called Curly Stars. That's kind of different. Let's go to page two. All right. This one's kind of pretty. I want to do this one here. This is called Seasons Spring. So when you find one you like, go to the right hand side, you will see a download button over here. So I'm going to go here where it says Seasons Spring is the name of the font. You can see the name of the font right there. Go over to my right hand side, so follow my mouse, and go over here to download. It's going to download that to your computer. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Now with Windows 7, it downloads it to my download folder. So I'm going to go down here and go to my documents and then go to my download folder. And we can see there's my folder there, Season Spring, which is where my font is. It does come downloaded in a zip format. With Windows 7, I just need to right click on that, hit extract all, hit extract again, and that unzips my file for me. So now we have two folders. We have one with the zipper and one not. So we want to double click on the folder that we can open. All right, we see our font there. Okay, so it's called Season Spring. It's a true type font. Double click on the font, and it brings up this window, a font preview window. Now you have two options up here. We have print and install. We're gonna hit, we're gonna click on the word install. That's going to install that font to your computer. So any kind of program you have on your computer that that uses a text box, you can use this font, whether it be Design Space or Word program um, software, that kind of thing. All right, it is downloaded or installed. It's gonna close this out and close that out. Now let's go to the Cricut Design Space webpage and see what that font. Alright, so we're here. We're going to go ahead and click on this green box to log in. Enter in your email and your password here. Alright, now once you're logged in, you're able to verify that by seeing your name. You want to go ahead and click on, you know, create new project. Give this a second to load. All right, so that's loaded. We want to go to Add Text, which is over here on our left-hand side toolbar, Add Text. You will see a box come up. Type in what you want. I'm going to type in thefont.com. This way you guys can see the font or the web address I was just at. All right, there's the font. It's going to bring up your layer window and your edit panel. You want to focus on your edit panel. It shows you here the name of the font. This one here is called Cricut Alphabet. Now to change the font that you downloaded on your system, there's a little arrow right here that says All Fonts. Click on that arrow, or bring down a drop menu. It says All Fonts, System Fonts, which is on your computer, Cricut Fonts, that are Cricut cartridge fonts, Single Layer Fonts, and has a writing style. You want to click on System Fonts. It'll show all the fonts you have on your um, computer already. So we're at Arial right now. Now our font was called uh, Seasons Spring. So I'm going to click on my word Arial. It'll bring down the drop box again. But right below that is a little search box. So I can just type in S-E-A-S, -S, and it shows me the Season Spring font. So go ahead and click on that. My font will change. Close this out and make this larger. Okay, so there's the font. 
season spring that we just downloaded. It's really easy. Once you guys start downloading fonts or looking at font sites, you're really going to be addicted because there are so many to choose from. Do keep in mind, the more fonts you have on your computer, the slower your um, design space font area will load. All right, so it may slow down your computer as far as design space a little bit, but not too much. I have a lot on my computer, uh, probably 100 plus that I downloaded on top was already on my computer, and it's not really that slow. But there you have it. Any questions at all about downloading a font, installing it, or getting it to work on Cricut Design Space, let me know. If I can answer, I certainly will. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.